guys, uh, welcome to your general love reading. What are they not telling you for the zodiac sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs? Um, so Aries, we're going to take a look at your person that's currently on your mind. Um, someone who's not sharing a lot. Um, so we're going to see uh, what they are not telling you. And then uh, we will see if this person will come clean toward, uh, to you. Um, so feel free to apply this to your own unique situation, even though this is love focused. Um, this could be with anybody in your life. Uh, feel free to switch the roles if you want. The roles could be flipped or reversed. Um, before we get started, if you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up. Like this video so that this message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear this. Share this video with someone if you feel like there's someone out there that you know that needs to hear this. And leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Those of you guys that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link is in the description box below. Alright Aries, let's get started. Tell me about the person that is currently on Aries' mind. What is this person not telling Aries? What are they hiding from Aries? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. For November 2021. Ace of Pentacles. Seems like what this person wants is a new beginning here. Seems like, yeah, look at that. Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energies. You could be dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You could even have those energies in your chart, Aries. All right, let's see what else we have here. We have the Ten of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. I'm feeling like this person wants a solid long-term relationship here with you. I mean, we have the Ten of Pentacles here. Um, this person's already imagining planting the seeds with you and reaching this. Let's see. All right, we have the Eight of Cups and a Strength card. So you could be dealing with someone here that has like maybe commitment issues and I feel like they're trying very, very, very hard to not walk away from this because I feel like they're, they're scared of it. Uh, perhaps they're paranoid that you won't accept their offer or that the off like, or that this won't work out or something like that. Look at that. We have the Eight of Cups and a Strength card. Could be dealing with the Leo here. You might have Leo in your chart. what else we have here it, yeah it seems like someone here wants a solid solid offer a solid beginning here a long-term commitment here with you um this person might have fears of commitment in the past or still currently they do but they're seeing you as their end-all be-all sort of thing um and they're trying really really hard not to walk away uh because i feel like they're scared they're scared uh why is this ace of pentacles here could be dealing with someone who's younger than you. Doesn't necessarily have to be. Um, you know, maybe you're dealing with someone here that has gone through a lot of traumas here in their life with this Nine of Wands here. So let's see, why is this uh, Ace of Pentacles here? Why is this Ace of Pentacles here? Ace, wow. Ten of Cups. Wow, Knight of Cups and the Six of Swords. This person wants to move forward in a relationship here with you. This person's thinking about marriage here. This person is thinking about moving in together, having children together. I mean, let's see what else we have here. I mean, so far, this looks beautiful. Why is this Ten of Pentacles here? Ten of Pentacles and the King of Cups. You could be dealing with someone here that has water in their chart or that you have water in your chart too. So more water energy coming up here. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have someone here that's emotionally wanting to invest in this. Seven of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. Yeah, this person wants something that is very emotionally stable and emotionally fulfilling. Uh, Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups and the Devil. 
Capricorn energy. Could be dealing with a Capricorn here. You might have Capricorn in your chart. Why is the Strength card here? And the Ace of Swords. You know, I, I do feel like this person, you know, has, um, you know, has issues with themselves here because I feel like they, they also feel like they perhaps can't make this happen or they're fearful of, you know, their, maybe their toxic behavior might rear its ugly head. Um, I do feel like this person might have some sort of codependency issues too here. Or that th this person is just thinking really negatively at the same time. You know, prob probably there are some insecurities here. Because um, it seems like this person has, you know, some sort of um, demons that they really haven't faced yet. You know, this person maybe has dealt with people that go, leaves, stays, and then leaves, and, and this person's heartbroken. Could be some sort of karmic situation that they're stuck in themselves here. Maybe this person has, you know, attracted really bad people in, in their life. And finally, they met someone really great. And I feel like, you know, this person might feel like, what, well, you know, why should I deserve this or something like that? Uh, because this person is so used to the chaos and so used to the negativity and so used to the toxicity. Um, I mean, the, that Eight of Cups and that Devil card could be a representation of really cutting out the BS and really accepting um, what has come towards them, which is something really great. All right. But what else do we have for Aries here? Will this person come clean towards Aries? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for November 2021. Will this person come clean for Aries? This is interesting. Look at that. I, I feel like this person's trying to heal their demons here. This person could have had a string of toxic relationships. And now that this person has found some sort of peace, someone who's peaceful, someone who in their eyes seem, you know, very normal, that they're finally trying to perhaps accept that uh, and, and really leave all the stuff that this person has dealt with uh, behind. Um, so let's see, what else do we have here? So Sagittarius energy could be dealing with a Sag here. You might have Sag in your chart, Ace of Cups. This person's in love with you. I do feel like this person will come clean. I do feel like this person will want to talk. This person is definitely approaching you. Wow, six of cups here. So either this is like a past life soulmate or that this could be an ex here. An ex that could have, you know, walked away for a little bit to deal with their stuff. And now, you know, they're finally coming back um, because they dealt with their stuff here. Uh, Knight of Wands and the Page of Wands here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius, Aries or Leo. Another Aries perhaps. You got the Empress on the bottom of the deck here. So we have a King and an Empress. So this person might be viewing you as an Empress here, Aries. I mean, this is like a, a very abundant energy. This is an energy where things sort of, you know, expands and grows. This person is seeing huge potential growth here with you. Perhaps they didn't see it before. But we have someone here that is passionately rushing towards you. All right, let's see. Why is this devil here? Why is this devil here? The Devil and the King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. You know, perhaps you you are dealing with someone that has Earth and perhaps Fire in their chart. But I'm seeing a lot of energies across the board, so it could be anybody. Tell me about Temperance. Five of Swords. I, you know, I feel like this person is really taking some sort of, taking some sort of control over themselves. 
perhaps they were out of control in the past. But I feel like they're trying to fight for their peace and happiness here and, and, and balance and stability. Really trying to get away from this devil energy that they've been experiencing for a very long time. Why is Six of Cups here? Six of Swords. Look at all these sixes here. Stability. No balance. Balance. Stabilities are the fours. Six of Cups. Six of Cups and Seven of Cups here. So this is telling me that this person, you know, loves you. If this is per this person is an ex, this person misses you. This person sees you as their dream. This person daydreams about you, fantasizes about you, uh, fantasizing about you know being married, being together, having children together. I mean, we have that ten of cups and the ten of pentacles here. Why is this knight of wands here? You know, the six of wands. This person, this person's really rushing in confidently. Uh, perhaps like this, I think I mentioned this, uh, this person might have had, had some insecurities about themselves. Um, this person thought negatively all the time when, you know, perhaps in the past they were in relationships, you know, it's not gonna work out, they don't want me, that sort of thing. Page of wands here. This person might have some childhood trauma here. We have the two of pentacles. It seems like this person might be, you know, maturing a little bit. This person might be evolving because perhaps at one point they were unsure. Yeah, it seems like this person might come back if this is an ex. If this is past life soulmate, you know, this is someone new. You might have a past life soulmate, uh, soul connection with this person. Uh, this person, you know, is coming back in your life because you guys have some sort of unfinished business in the past life. Yeah, this person, you know, it could, I mean, I'm getting a few storylines here. Uh, this could be an ex, like I said, or a past life soulmate, a new person that you've come across in your life. So, uh, yeah, it seems, this is like a beautiful reading. It seems like this person is doing some self-work on themselves and really, really wanting, really wanting commitment here. So... Um, Aries, I hope this resonated. If it did, leave a comment uh, in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks.